What's going on guys, it's Kajarts here, and today's Fluent Power Trip quick tip will be on how to use the Ray modifier. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments on uh, Discord and Facebook about how to use this properly, and it's really simple. There's a documentation online, which I'll link that in the description below, and this add-on is by CG Thoughts, and I'll also leave a link to his channel down below as well. But uh, to go about using this properly, uh, you have your model selected. You want to hit F on the keyboard to bring up the Fluent menu, and let's go to Cut slash add here on the left and if I hit right click on my mouse I'll bring up the grid but for the sake of the tutorial I will not bring up the grid and I just want you guys to pay attention to the left side here now these are the shape tools so default is a rectangle shape but uh, I'm gonna use the circle for this so I'll hit C on the keyboard and I'll left click on the um, object here and once you left click um, you can choose the size that you want to use and once you're satisfied left click again to confirm that now if we slide our mouse left or right we can uh, extrude this inwards or outwards so I'm going to bring it in by sliding it to the left and I'm going to left click to uh, confirm that last operation now before we right click and exit out of here we're just going to left click and hold so we have this menu here and let's go down to array and after you hit that quickly, you'll notice there's a green, red, and blue widgets here. And this stands for the different axes in the 3D world. Now, if you want to array this from left to right, you want to click on the red icon. Do not click and hold. Just click it once, and you can slide your mouse to the left or to the right. And once you're satisfied with the distance between the two arrayed models, you can hit S on the keyboard to change the count. Now, slide your mouse to the left to the left to decrease and if you move your mouse to the right you'll increase the amount and once you're satisfied you can left click to confirm that operation now if you want to up, if you want to array this up and down just left click on the widget move your mouse to the right and once you're satisfied with the distance hit s to change the count and you can slide it to the left or right to up or decrease the amount and once you're satisfied left click and now we're done. So to confirm this entire operation, you want to right click and now we bullied this operation and created an array. So hopefully this tutorial was to the point. You guys found it easy. And if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.